Yo guys, what is up? And I am coming at you with another episode of Cancer of YouTube. But before I get into what I'm going to talk about with this episode, first off, I just want to go ahead and get this out of the way. Daily videos are coming the fuck back. I am making a comeback at this point. I got the creativity flowing nice and good. So yeah, anyways, getting into what I want to talk about today on this episode of Cancer of YouTube, that is Storytime Channels. Now, the reason why I don't like these channels, right, like basically, I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory as to what they are. Um, they're basically just channels where people tell stories of, you know, shit that's happened to them or whatever. It's, it's like vlogging, but they don't go anywhere, basically. They just sit down and tell a story. Now, the problem with this is, whenever this trend, or, like, whenever this genre, I guess you could say, of video started to come up, most of them were probably real, you know, I'm sure there were some fakes here and there, but now I'd say about 75 to 80 percent of the, of all the story time videos are completely fucking fake. So, um, as you see in the thumbnail, you know, I got some examples, you got, uh, Luna, uh, Tain... Tana fucking mongoose, mongu god, she got absolutely destroyed by iDubs today, it was fucking beautiful, like, like, if you have not seen that content cop, you need to, you need to go fucking watch it after you watch my video, cause it is, it's a fucking masterpiece, but anyways, you know, you got Tana Mongu, uh, you got the guys over at FaZe, you know, where they're, like, dying every other week, it's just, it's, it's, it's going absolutely fucking insane right now, so yeah, I'm, we're gonna, I'm gonna put, put up some clips, you know, I'm gonna give some examples, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into this shit. Well, actually, before I get into the clip, I forgot I need to mention, you know, who it's from and all that shit. So this first clip is from one of Luna's videos, and if you don't know who he is, he's, like I said, a story time channel. He's basically leafy, but instead of roasting people, he does, like, he, he tells stories, you know, quote-unquote stories that supposedly aren't blown or full-blown lies or exaggerated at all, which most of them probably are. I mean, you know, crazy shit happens to everyone, but not, like, if if they're 100% true, then these people are living some wild-ass fucking lives. That's all I gotta say about it, but yeah. Anyways, uh, this is him basically talking about he supposedly went to some festival with his friends, um, some dude that hated his channel or whatever found out, like, where he lived and met up with him and talked shit to his face. So, yeah, we're just gonna watch a little bit of it, and, you know, I'm just gonna give you my thoughts about it afterwards. He did. It was pretty fucking awkward. I'm going to talk about it. So I go to this festival in the summer. I'm with a group of my friends. It was really fun, for the most part, till the end. I was with this group of people, and I knew most of them. I think two of them I didn't know too well. My friends went to school with them, who lived in a town over. So I trusted his judgment, and I figured they were cool, and they really were for the time being. And then towards the end, someone approaches me, and the way he walked up to me looked like he was about to square up to that fucking kangaroo that holds dogs hostages. Like, he did not look happy to see me. And, like, I'm not a very threatening person. I'm, like, fucking 120-something pounds, like, pretty skinny dude. I, I'm not really threatening, so I don't know why I was walking up like I was about to kill him. I really wasn't gonna. He comes up to me, and he's like, are you Luna? And at first, I was like, oh, shit, he's a subscriber. Like, that's really cool, right? And I was like, yeah, what's up, man? And he's like, yeah, I thought so. And I was like, what's up? And he's like... I've been watching you for a while now, like, I can't do it anymore, like, your videos just suck so fucking bad. And I laughed, like, I honestly laughed my ass off, because, like, I don't fucking care. Like, if you're As you can see, it's nothing too crazy, but this isn't, like, the only type of video like this he has on his channel. He's got quite a few stories of him, you know, either getting walked up on by people, or meeting weird stalker fans, or, you know... Uh, getting jumped and robbed and beat up, like, on almost a weekly basis. I'm, I'm like, bruh, how are you not in the hospital all the time or something? Or how in the fuck have you not been shot and killed yet? Like, I don't know. Like, I mean, if this shit is all 100% true, then I don't know. They just got some really bad fucking luck. That's all I gotta say. Alright, so this next clip is gonna come from Tana Mongu, Mongoose, Mongeese. Tana Moose, I don't know how the fuck to pronounce her last name, but yeah, anyways, um, she's another one of these story time YouTube channels, but god, her videos, like, I'm glad that she's attractive, because that's really the only thing she's got going for her, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, be in denial about it, she's, she's really fucking good looking, I mean, I'm not gonna deny that, but at the same time, 
she is so fucking stupid and her voice she's so like whiny like i cannot like i I can barely stand to watch like 10 seconds of one of her videos especially when her voice gets all high pitched she starts screaming and shit i'm like please shut the fuck up like i just want to like take a fully loaded clip in a nine and just unload all the rounds into my fucking skull whenever i hear that shit but anyways uh this clip comes from the start of one of her videos so yeah let's let's go ahead and play this shit and hopefully i don't kill myself while it's playing Dude, Tana, you have so many more drunken, alcohol, you're a dumb bitch style stories, so why don't we just keep up with that theme? So that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna be telling you guys dumb things I did while I was drunk and like probably 14. And yeah, that that, that clip isn't just a representation of that video. That like, that is all like the content that her channel consists of. It's absolutely fucking disgusting. Like... For one thing, I mean, okay, she's attractive, so so that's a plus, right? But her voice is fucking annoying. She's a pandering, whiny little bitch. She's loud and obnoxious. She's got, like, severe ADD and can't, like, stay on track for fucking, like, any amount of time at all with her stories. Um, Her stories are always about her getting drunk, high, or in fights or something. I'm like, and she's supposed to be a role model, like... Most of her fans are like 12 year old girls and she's supposed to be a role model for these 12 year old girls. And she just said in this clip, she's getting drunk at 14. Like, where the fuck are your parents? I can see why you're so stupid now because obviously you had some fucking terrible parents if you're sitting there getting fucking blackout drunk at 14. That's, I don't know, that's absolutely insane. I know if I would have been doing that, I would have gotten my ass beat and probably kicked out. So I don't know what the fuck is up with her parents. But yeah, that's like all her channel consists of, and it's absolutely disgusting. But now we are going to take a look at the best Tana Mongoose moment on YouTube. So you know what, let's just take a look at this masterpiece of art. It still absolutely amazes me that this dude paid $100 just to say that shit to her. It's it's absolutely fantastic. Fucking Bravo is like a masterpiece. Hopefully it goes down as like the most epic moment in YouTube history. But, you know, I mean, really, I could do a whole video just on Tana by herself because she's just so retarded and like so like unaware of what the fuck's happening. Like, I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. But anyways, uh, the next, well, group that we're going to be looking at is phase on um, they're constantly putting up videos about how their house is haunted or how they almost died so yeah let's let's go ahead and see one of those clips so i decided not to go with a clip from one of the phase i almost died videos because i just looked it up in the youtube search and there's just so much fucking trash to choose from i mean but you can tell most of these are either exaggerated or fake i'm not saying none of them have never had a near-death experience but like I mean, if you're going to talk about something serious about that, I mean, it, I mean, it's fucking serious. Like, you almost died, and then you're going to put, like, a clickbait title and thumbnail and with you having a ridiculous face. Like, I don't know. It's like they're just laughing at the fact they almost died. Like, that's just not shit to laugh about. But anyways, it is what it is. Um, In conclusion to this video, I just want to say if you are subscribed to any of these storytime channels or, you know, just an avid viewer... Um, I just want you to know that more than likely 80% of their content is probably fake, especially if they're talking about some crazy ass shit all the time, you know, like how they almost died every week or how all their houses are haunted or, you know, how they're getting high all the time. I mean, you got to remember most of these YouTubers are 20, maybe 30 at the oldest. So they haven't lived that long. I mean, they haven't had like all those experiences, trust me, that's just absolutely fucking crazy, they're just, they're just milking it, I mean, because there's no proof that it didn't happen to them, but there's no proof that it did happen to them, and you know, that's what they kind of rely on to keep their channel going, I mean, because nobody's, I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and research that shit, like, I mean, I really don't give that much of a fuck, I'm just saying, in my opinion, they are a cancer of YouTube, because they're basically kind of making money, off of lying and it's just i don't know it's just absolutely crazy in my opinion and if and if they are all telling the truth then like i said they live some wild ass fucking lives but anyways that's all i wanted to talk about today in this episode of cancer of youtube i hope you all enjoyed if you did like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys later bye